Shift A to add a circle. I left it as is at 32 vertices. Go into edit mode and extrude in the Z axis. I'm pressing Q to access checker deselect. Let's scale this. Then alt click to select the whole loop. Extrude in the Z axis again. Then scale. Press F to fill the bottom, go into object mode. Press Ctrl 2 for subdivision modifier, then shade smooth into edit mode again. Let's inset the bottom face and add two loop cuts to hold the shape better. Let's add the solidify modifier in object mode. Increase thickness. Now select the top edge loop. Press Shift D, then P to duplicate and separate. Let's remove the solidify modifier for this one. Into edit mode. Extrude down in the Z axis. Do some scaling. Then grab the top edge loop and extrude up in the Z axis. Right click for loop tools and select circle. You need to have loop tools add in enabled to see this option. Scale for better shape. Shade smooth in object mode. Extrude up in the Z axis. Scale and move as needed. Repeat two more times. Let's fill an inset to finish modeling. Wasn't that fun and easy to make? I've brought in the heart I made in the previous video and sprinkled some round cubes using the particle system. Since this video is for beginners, I'll just leave the particle system for another tutorial later down the road. Please subscribe if you enjoyed this video and have a wonderful day.